this, obviously, I'm sure most of you are aware of this news. This is courtesy of Los Angeles Times, and the headline reads as follows. Mercedes driver charged with murder in crash that killed five in Windsor Hills. Now, most of you know, I think I've seen the video of a car. I think it's from a petrol station. There's a CCTV camera pointing out towards a junction. And all you see is this car going crazy speeds, just bursting through that intersection. And what, for whatever reason, it hits loads of cars and they all s explode. Like whatever cars it hits and or it kind of hits onto it. They all explode, they get crushed into the side, whatever it may be. And then that's it, it goes quiet. And then soon after we found out that many people died. I think at the time I read it was six, now they're saying it's five. But the most distressing one I remember reading was a whole family in one car got wiped away. So it was a boyfriend, it was the girlfriend who was pregnant, and it was one of their kids. So I guess that makes up for four. Passed away on the spot. And I think one of the eyewitnesses who was there um, filling up her car, when the, when the crash happened, she was filling up her car. I guess the junction is some distance away from the petrol station, let's say 100 meters. And when the crash happened, all she saw was a baby flying through the air and it landed bang right next to the petrol station. So the baby flew like 100 meters into the air, get, you know, was flipping, what's, what's that thing called? Um, burst out of the car flung out of the car and hit on the ground whatever and people try to try to administer you know first aid or whatever maybe your cpr but clearly you know falling from that kind of height with that impact beforehand that baby had no chance so and again a mother to be with a baby on the way in the oven a boyfriend and i think if not mistaken they were actually on their way to have a checkup like you know what you do when women are pregnant they're going to get whatever checkup needs to be done and they're going to then come straight back home and then bang that happened and they all flip and pass away and this absolute donut of a woman was supposedly having an argument with her boyfriend um to the point where she started drinking and driving and basically wanting to not live and driving really fast and wanting to kill herself but then in uh in an effort to kill herself she ended up killing five people and she ended up surviving with minimal injuries which is always the most annoying thing about these stories like why do the drink drivers always end up surviving and the victims they hit always end up perishing it's so fucking unfair the only thing that's really satisfying about it is that the u.s have really harsh vec velic vec, 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 vec how do you pronounce that vecula manslaughter um you know charges that they can bring against people i've seen a lot of cases of people who kill someone with their car and they get they spend a lot of time in prison obviously there's the cases like you know the caitlin jenner stuff where she was able to kind of walk away free from that which i still don't understand but for the most part if you do get into a car crash that kills somebody in the states you can go in for a very very long time so that's the only satisfying thing about it man but one absolute selfish bitch, honestly. This is this is somebody you should be calling a selfish bitch. Um, or you should be happy to call a bitch without having any sort of um uh what's that thing called? Um without putting any sort of uh cap on it. This is definitely a bitch. And then, yeah, it says as follows. A registered nurse was charged on Monday with six counts of murder and five counts of gro of gross vec vecula vecula manslaughter in connection with a fiery crash in windsor hills last week that killed a pregnant woman a baby and three other adults the los angeles county county district attorney announced nicole lorraine linton 37 is accused of reckless disregard for life in connection with the thursday's multi-vehicle crash prosecutors say the los angeles woman who's behind the wheel of a mercedes-benz that was speeding at at fast as 90 miles per hour if you see the intersection it's a, it's a class standard intersection to to be going at that kind of speed with that kind of, on that sort of busy intersection given as well how busy uh, you know la streets are in general is legitimately insane um she was speeding as fast as 90 miles per hour when she ran the red light shortly after 1 30 p.m and plowed into traffic in a busy intersection of la brea and slawson avenue um Los Angeles and County District Attorney George Gaskin said Linton faces up to life in prison if convicted for charges. I hope she gets life. I hope she gets more than life, to be honest. I hope she has a horrible time in prison as well. Um, in an instant, Miss Linton's conduct took the lives of six people and injured many people. To get the second degree murder conviction, prosecutors must prove she acted with implied malice and knew the act of driving at high speed that city streets was dangerous for human life. Usually, such cases are brought to drivers under influence and or has a prior DUI conviction and has taken DUI classes. California Highway Patrol investigation identified. F oh my God! No way. She was involved in thirteen. 13 prior crashes are you insane 13 now don't get me wrong 
crashes can mean a lot of things. It could mean she backed into somebody on the street. Um, what else? It could mean... What else could it mean? It could mean a lot of things, right? Do you know what I mean? It could mean a lot of things. But 13 crashes is a lot. 13, man. And her license wasn't revoked or anything. Like, what the hell is happening over there, man? God almighty. Yo, big up somebody who donated via the super chat. <laughs> okay, thanks for the pronunciation. Vehicular. Okay, so thank you so much for the pronunciation help there. Vehicular. 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 Thank you so much, John Valdez, for the $2 super chat. I appreciate you, my friend. I appreciate you. Yeah, but 13 prior crashes is wild. However, Gascon said that there's no evidence of any alcohol use. Oh, that's why she's been saved. That's even more, that's even worse, you know. I would actually prefer if she was blasted, like, off her face, like, on drugs and alcohol, and then this happened. If you're telling me she was stone cold sober, tried to kill herself, but ended up killing other people, i got no time for this. It continues. I know that some of you spoke to a woman that alleged they had been drinking together. The CSP is working to identify this person, but we don't have any information. The district attorney declined to discuss. Oh, that's because one of her friends was on the news, isn't it, right? Like, I think one of her friends was one that basically gave people the insight that she was maybe arguing with a boyfriend because the friend went on the news and basically said, yeah, she was at someone's house beforehand, basically complaining about the boyfriend and drinking with them, and then she left in the car. If you have friends that let you, that allow you to leave their home drunk, they're not really your friends either, to be honest. The district attorney declined to discuss what prompted the crash, saying it was still under investigation and he was not going to get into the details. The murder charges against Linton are for the deaths of 23-year-old Ashray Ryan, her nearly one-year-old child, Alonzo Quintero. Oh my God. Her boyfriend, Reinald Lester, and their humble child, Ryan was eight and a half. Ryan was eight and a half months pregnant, just on the way to give birth when she was killed. The boy she was carrying at the time was named Armani Lester, according to the Los Angeles County Coroner's Office. His date of birth and the um, his date of birth and death fell on the same day. Yo, yo, yo! That is some scary shit. A young family was destroyed in the blink of a lie, says um, Gascon. Linton was also charged with murder for the deaths of the two women killed in a crash who have yet to be identified. The five counts of vehicular or vehicular uh, manslaughter <laughs> against her uh, and for the deaths of the four other adults and the baby who was nearly two weeks shy of one year old. Ryan's unborn child cannot be included in those charges. Okay, cool, because it was unborn. <sighs> but yeah, RIP to all the, you know, all the, all, all the, all the, victims of that flipping horrible crash hope this lady burns in hell hope she just gets buried under the prison absolute heinous crime um selfish to the extreme it's a, i don't know some people say suicide is selfish i don't necessarily agree with that you know i'm not necessarily one that people agree with those kind of things but if you are gonna off yourself off yourself in it to the point where it doesn't impact anybody else in terms of the acts of doing it of course it's still gonna impact your family and friends but do so in a way that no other you know what i mean so you're not flipping i don't know like have some have some have some flipping have some uh compassion for the people around you that may have to witness that i don't know I just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Whatever, man. Whatever. I move on. Anyway, what, what are you guys saying in the chat? Um, can she get in a car without a breathalyzer? She can be. Yeah, probably. Can blue. Uh, can she get into a car without a breathalyzer? Uh, I'm not be really too sure. Um, the robot. She should be in an Uber driver in her spare time. This is so much worse. Exactly. Eddie D says the court said she tested negative for being under the influence, which is honestly insane. That makes it worse. The fact that she wasn't drunk or high makes it worse. It really does make it worse. Because if you're drunk or high, I can allow you for being emotional, your 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 emotions being heightened, your um, decision-making process or your rash, your way to rationalize things being diminished, whatever it may be. But being sober? <sighs> the court says she was... Um, the, the big up says um, Jimmy Hart's Purple Rain. Big up you too, Jimmy. Sticks and stones says kid was 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 born to die. Sad shit exactly. Um, the robot says all the people she killed and drove off. Raven says selfish. Thirteen accidents that were reported. Yeah, exactly that were reported. Exactly the robot. Thirteen that were reported and still her flipping. Do you guys in the states have points here? I'm not sure if you're the same. We have the same. We have it in the UK, right? We have points. So I think I'm not. I do. I don't drive, but I think we have a 
a point total and if you get into some sort of issue or a wreck or you get pulled over by the police and you get convicted or whatever maybe they take off points to the point where if you get to a certain level of points it's a suspension or whatever it may be do you have that same thing in the states or if yeah do you have that is that a thing of points yeah okay cool why why wasn't that why doesn't that get occurred into crashes or can you just or can you just keep crashing into people and just keep driving but i guess she could also be driving without a license also and that doesn't mean you know you can't have a car She'll never drive again, even if she gets out. Okay, cool. Thank God, man, because she's number one, clearly a terrible driver. Like, clearly. Like to do this, to do this sober is horrible. And also to be in 13 crashes is also horrible. Especially at her age. She's only 37 years old. It's like, it's insane. But anyway, we continue.